What is up YouTube? Welcome to Premium MMA. My name is Hydro aka Big Splash and I'm here to give you my best bets for UFC Fight Night Rosenstruck versus Almeida. Let's get straight into it. First up we got my parlays. I have a whole unit on three favorites and those three favorites are Ian Gary, Alex Morano, and Natan Levy. And I got, in parlaying them up, I got them at a plus 175 which is which is all right, decent value. The only fight here I am pretty worried about is the Natan Levy fight. He's going against Pete Rodriguez, which is a great striker. Heavy hands could put you away. But Pete Rodriguez is going to down in weight to lightweight. And he fights at welterweight originally. So that's a huge 20-pound difference. And then adding the pounds that he walks around in. If Pete Rodriguez looks good during weigh-ins, this is going to be a really hard fight for Natan Levy. But I don't see that. I, I see... Pete Rodriguez having trouble making weight, and just when it comes to fight day, he's not going to be the Pete Rodriguez we all know and love. So that's why I have a ton Levy beating Pete Rodriguez. And I chose these three favorites because if I chose Almeida or if I chose someone like Carl Williams, they're too big of a favorite. I would have had no value in a parlay or putting them in a parlay. No value at all. So that's why I went with Ian Gary. I think I got him at a minus 300. Alex Morano, I got him at a minus 220, 220 or 240, I believe. And Natan Levy, I got him at a minus 200. So so that's not bad at all. And parlaying them three up, I got I got that at a plus 175. And that's my three-way parlay. And you could call it a safety parlay just because it's all favorites, but you still never know in the UFC. I, I've, I've had my underdog parlays hit. And my and the parlays with all the favorites in it not so it's like you can't really call them safety parlays anymore but this is a parlay that i am actually confident on and the only thing that's giving me a, a slight of eh, is natan levy he's going against p rodriguez but i think p rodriguez is going to have trouble making weight so therefore i do have natan levy in this in this matchup and that is my three-way parlay with them favorites in there and next let's get to my fun parlay I only put $30 on Johnny Walker and Brian Battle. I parlayed them up, and I got it at a plus 310. So if you put $100 on this parlay, you win back your $100 plus $310. I only put $30 on it because it's two underdogs, and parlaying underdogs, I usually don't do that. But I want to have a little bit of fun this week, so that's why I only put $30 on this parlay. Johnny Walker and Brian Battle. Those are my two underdogs this week that I believe that could get it done. Johnny Walker will get it done in this matchup, I believe so. I'm 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 way confident in Johnny Walker. Brian Battle on the other hand, he's going against Gabriel Green. Gabriel Green is someone who who just applies pressure and it's just tough and just tries to get the finish. But Brian Battle, I hope he could stay on the outside of the fence and just, you know, Keep that range and just pick out his shots and win a decision. Or even have his shin connect to Gabe Green's head and get the knockout. But Gabe Green is really tough and he does keep the pressure. As you saw in the in the fight with Brian Battle versus Trey Gorg, if if Gabe Green fights like Trey Gore, but even better, which I think Gabriel Green is a better fighter than Trey Gorg. If he does that same thing that Trey Gorg did to Brian Battle, then it's over with. But Brian Battle is a biased pick of mine in this card. So to be honest, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even put money on this if I was you. I wouldn't I wouldn't chase this just because of Byron Battle. Johnny Walker, though, on the other hand, I'm confident about all the way. So, but this is like a fun bet. Brian Battle, he can win this fight. He's a great striker, but his wrestling has to get better. And I think he has been getting better. That's all he says every time he someone talks shit about him or if he loses a fight. He comes back with a huge win and always just always screams, I got better. I got better. So that's why I have the that's why I have Brian Battle in this matchup. And like I said, it's a biased pick with Brian Battle. Gabriel Green is a good fighter. And putting $30 on this parlay, I believe I get paid out about $93, almost $100. So that's why I only put $30 on it. Next up, let's get into my money lines. I put a whole unit on Johnny Walker. So basically, my underdog parlay, I money line those two fighters as well. I really like Johnny Walker in this matchup. I do believe he's going to get it done here. I do believe he is the better fighter in this matchup. 
And he's just been getting better and better and better and better. And he's been proving me wrong. I actually went for Paul Craig in that fight when he fought Paul Craig, which I believe was his last fight. And Johnny Walker always looks amazing. He always, he always proves me wrong. He looks better than he does in his fights. The only fight that did get me was him against Jamal Hill. But that's Jamal Hill. But yeah, I, I think Johnny Walker is a complete all-around fighter. He He's really good. He just... He's just a fighter. He fights. He doesn't he doesn't think too much. He's just in there and just just goes in and just does him and just be himself. And I really I'm starting to like Johnny Walker as a fighter. And I do believe he could get it done in this matchup. And I also money line Brian Battle. Brian Battle, like I said, this is a biased pick. I wouldn't trail this 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 money line with Brian Battle because He's going against Gable Green, and like I said, Gable Green has that pressure, and he's just so tough, and he's just trying to get you out of there. And Brian Battle, on the other hand, is just going to try to keep that distance and just trying to get not and not get taken down. Because if Brian Battle gets taken down, it's a wrap, and that's what I don't want. But Brian Battle, I like him as a fighter. His style is just nice, and I do want to see him go far in the welterweight division. So. That's why I have Brian Battle, and that's why I pick him, and I'm always going to root for Brian, and this is why this is a biased pick with Brian Battle. But Johnny Walker, that money line with Johnny Walker, y'all better trail that one. Johnny Walker being an underdog in this fight, it's not even he's an underdog. He's a slight underdog. It's, 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 it's even. It's at even. So that's why I got him at a minus 105 still. I know I don't have that many bets for this week. Usually I do, I, I'll probably have like six or seven bets going on. And I wouldn't put so much, like I put, I have one unit, one unit, one unit. I have, I have $330 on the line, which I usually, my, my my budget around sports betting or betting on UFC is about three to $500 a week. And I usually split that up. Like I'll put a unit on my safety parlay and then I'll put, a unit on a money line, just an underdog. I'll money line an underdog and put a unit on that. And then the rest of my bets, I'll only put like $25, $30, maybe $60. But today, but I mean, this weekend or this week, I don't have that many bets. So that's why I put a unit, 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 only $30 on that underdog parlay. Because you never, it's underdogs. You That's for sure. You never know if that's going to hit or not. So, but it... Those parlays do hit, my boy. But I'm pretty confident in this week. I do believe Ian Gary is going to get it done in this matchup against Daniel Rodriguez. Alex Morano is going to get it done against a very old Tim Means. And Natan Levy is going to get it done against a really skinny, weak Peak Rodriguez. I believe Johnny Walker is going to get it done against Anthony Smith, who's not active and he's a decent fighter. But Johnny Walker, like I said, he's just been getting better and better and he's relentless and like a damn Tasmanian devil in that octagon. So I feel sorry for Anthony Smith. He has a, he's had a good career, but I believe he's going to retire earlier than he, he wants to. And Johnny Walker is going to make him do it. I can see it. So those are the only two real bets that I have that I'm pretty confident on. Anything with the with the Brian Battle on it, that is biased. I love Brian Battle as a fighter. He's a great fighter, a great knockout artist, and I just love his style. So that's why I'm putting some money on him. And, I don't care. and he can win this fight. It is You never know. It's with the UFC. You never know what's going to happen. So that is it for my best bets for UFC Fight Night. Rosenstruck versus Almeida. This is going to be a real exciting one. It's going to have me at the edge of my seat, and I just can't wait for this main event. If y'all like my bets and agree with me, or just enjoy this video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.